Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ground Zero. And today, we got some juicy stuff for you today, people. And um, let's just say it's dealing with some, you know, some rumors. And I don't know if they're true or not. But, yeah. So let's talk about this new thing called Triple Threat Promotions. Triple Threat Promotions is a collaborative work from from fed from the promoters and basically what they do is just they just collab with each other get more eyes on their product and also get more eyes on the other product that's not within the triple threat promotion banner triple threat triple threat, mm, triple threat promotions is for three promotions and the three promotions confirmed are so are new streams wrestling Roman pro and Legacy Wrestling League. Those are the three promotions that that's under the banner. Everybody else will get some more, you know, get some more recognition because not only the banner is just for the banner, but the banner is just for the three. Uh, dang, how do I, how do I explain this, people? Basically, what, what what I'm trying to say is that like the banner is for the main promotions, but we will advertise other promotions too. To give them some light. But we can't do this alone, people. We can't do this. We can't just have three people doing doing this. We, we need some more people that be active. What we need is writers right now. The writers that they that we need for Triple Threat Promotions is basically we need more people to join us to write reviews on shows and you know re- report on mini shows or all the other stuff, man. We 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 are looking for deep dive writers and more focus. Look at at a show or federation. They also looking for writers for reviews and ratings to spotlight the federations that are doing well. With that one, no ego trips, no nothing. We just being we are being legitimately fair. We will rate your show. And give it a little critiques, all that stuff. But but other than that, we're gonna be fair with you. We're gonna be like, yeah, like you know, check them out. They might do some stupid. They might do something that you might well, some dumb, but that doesn't mean the whole show's dumb. The show, the show's freaking cool. We won't call your show dumb, but you know, they might do something that we, that we don't really like, but that doesn't take away from how good the show could be. We want to see things improve, people. And they're also looking for federation. Well, yeah, what the hell? Writers for federations of the week spotlight article. So if you want to do a federation of the, so if you want to be a writer for the show and do federation of the week or ratings or deep dives, man, this is your chance to shine. I'll make sure I get the link. Matter of fact, let me copy the damn link and put it into my notepad. Because I've been forgetting a lot of stuff, big fella. A lot of stuff. So this 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 ain't this ain't gonna take long, people. So I'm sorry that I stutter. I'm trying not to talk fast, but oh well. So if y'all interested in short threat promotions and try to get your fed out there and and or you want to start helping us write some stuff for the feds. Then this is your place to be. So let's, let's talk. So let's talk about some WCC news, people. Yeah, WCC Wrestling Cup Classic. Holy shit! Kano has a lot of heat. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Kano has the fucking heat of a lifetime, my guy. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of heat. It's more like he's not. He just kind of damaged right now. Kano got my Kano got minorly injured during during the match in um WCC Strike Force. He got injured, but the but due to the nature of the sport, he got to continue on with the show. How he got injured? He he took a twisting complete shot by Zach Roper and got fucked up. I think he landed on his head. And that knocked him come and then and that knocked him silly. Let me try that again, people. I'm sorry. 
I'm not editing this shit out. What happens is that Zack Roper did a twist and complete shot on Kano in a triple threat match b- between Kano, Zack Roper, and S- Savage Nightmare. That twist and complete shot, I think Kano landed on his fucking noggin. His dome piece was fucked up after the match. So Kano was b- pissed. He was pissed at the staff for booking the show because, in his words, that's not how you build a champion. You can't let the champion... Die- you want to make a fighting champion? A fighting champion is basically a champion that, that, that defends the belt. And he could, he, or he could accept it, or he cannot accept it. But the thing is, with the fighting champion, what the deal is, is this. This is just my opinion. This is, this is Apache's opinion. But if you want to make a fighting champion out of somebody... You can make him defend the belt or, you know, some other shit. But you can't but just booking him in like non title matches is killing the momentum and prestige of the title. But that's just a thought, people. That's just my little thoughts about it. Let's get back to the news why Kano is in the news. Kano dumbass wanna wanna go to the bridge, cut a promo on the bridge that's that's Literally connected to Virginia, Alexandria, Virginia, and Prince George's County, Maryland. He yeet the shit out of the fucking belt. He just yeet. And he literally threw that bitch off the bridge. And people still didn't fish for the belt till this day. Kano, you bum buffoon. So Kano, so, so Kano has to pay for the belt damages with some Tri-City pistols, and Kano kind of refuses to do it. He even texted me, I ain't paying shit. This is what he said to me, people. This is what he said to me. Between me and you, who's going to get the belt? Nobody. <laughs> and that's basically it. I was like, you, you, you silly-ass buffoon. You would throw the belt off the damn bridge, you dummy. But he said something in encrypted messages saying that he might bring the belt back, but under a different look. He might get a, he might get another belt and make it like look look a little different and stuff. So I'm so I'm just like, God damn it, you buffoon! Why would you throw the belt? He said because he was pissed. That doesn't mean shit. <laughs> but that's candle for you. So Kano and Emo Boy guy got, got into a little argument. Kano threatened to literally throw him off the bridge. And um Kano then choke him, choke Emo Boy, and bit his fucking dome piece. And that's what happened. And now they got a match against each other today. T- wait, today's Thursday, right? Yeah, today's Thursday. So bottom of the line, Kano versus Emo Boy, non title match. Kano might win the match, but we may never know. Anything can happen in, in WCC, people. And rumor says that Kano's lover might be a wrestler. I don't know. That's just something that's just something to me. If that happens, I would definitely love to see that. Oh my god, man. This is crazy. Kano yeet the fucking belt. Then Kano just legitimately did some dumb shit. I'm fucking asleep. (sighs) I am so freaking like, wow. I got no words. Anyways, let's continue on with the stuff. CR Fire Pro rumors. Let's talk about them. Let's talk about the CR Fire Pro rumors. Rumor has it is that like they're gonna bring back the little tag league. They're gonna bring back the tag league. And guess who decided to want to join the tag league? Kano. Kano wants to join the tag league. So he was like, if he 
he's not booked in CWF for like a couple months. Then he might go do the tag league on CR Fire Pro because Kano misses CR Fire Pro, even though he had a bad reputation there. But he did put on some really good matches. Like his, like his, he don't have he has a good reputation, but the way he presented himself in CR Fire Pro, he wanted to change that. So Kano wants to change the way he was in CR Fire Pro and try to be a little bit more balanced. But who will be his partner? Well, I was looking at some rumors and stuff like that, and the only thing I could find is that the person who might be his tag partner might be JKL. The newest NAW champion, JKL, might be his partner. And so, because there's a rumor saying, because there's a, this ties into to another rumor, that the dishonor, which re, 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 my God, the dishonor reunite tour or retribution tour is might might be in CR Fire Pro. So we don't know. It, it, do they still got it? Maybe, because they be doing singles matches, and you know, Kano doing well in singles. He's WC champion. JKL is doing well in singles. He's NAW champion. So at the end of the day, we may see the um, reunion tour. So, um, but let me ask you this. Let me ask the, the people this. Y'all want to see this tag league, right? What if a new team emerges from the Zero brand? Or the question is, who do you want to see in a tag league? Comment below. Because if y'all want to see... Because CR Fire Pro tournaments be fucking good. It's like it's better than the, any tournament that I put on. Well... Damn it, I think I broke the fourth wall. But, like, their tournaments is fire, bro. Their tag league was fire last year. And I can't wait to see their, their next tag league. Matter of fact, if I was a host, I will host the Cedric Candy Tag Cup. The tag tournament. <laughs> the, the Candy Cup. Just to pay homage to the best promoter I've ever seen in my life. But I'm not going to suck his dick because it's like, I'm not that dude. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry if I offend anybody. My bad. It's a bad joke. I'm no, I know, I know, I know, I know. Anyways. Um, also, one more thing for the... um. For... CR Fire Pro, I just want to say this one thing, okay? Justice for Junior Power Champion. I swear to fucking God, we need we need justice. <laughs> Let's talk about CWF, people. <laughs> CWF. I'm kind of late on these news for, C for CWF, but I'm going to go back from anything that is in February. Okay? Alright, Saturday was the um the first. Okay, so this is kind of new. So the no rules applies 2020 card so far is this. I'm gonna go from bottom to top because the top is main event and the bottom is just bottom matches, big fella. The cruiserweight championship, Thunder the champion will defend his title against Corazon D Dragon Jr. A luchador. And then no holds bar match. Kano versus Crusher Cougar. C C A W F. Let me see. C A W F International Championship. Rage the champion versus Chris Carbone. If Rage can can compete, because Fargo, big ass, wanna destroy Rage. Then the C A W F Tag Team Champ well, World Tag Team Championships, the Earthquakes. Taking against the Renegades. Fuck them. 
I think that's the one that injured Kano. I don't remember. Sid Sid F Women's Championship. Crusher Honda, the champion. Fist on against Crystal Books. Brooks. I said Books. What the fuck? Then we got an eight man hardcore tornado tag match. The Covenant versus the American Patriots. Then the main event is going to be the CWF Heavyweight Championship, the World Heavyweight Championship, Armageddon versus Ajax. That match is going to be fucking weird. If Armageddon beats Ajax, we are lost of hope. But if Ajax win the title, I don't even know how to feel. <laughs> Because at first, when I first watched CWF, I was like, Ajax a fucking heel. This dude is fucking annoying. I want to kill him. So I was like, then he returned. Then he turned a baby face. I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't care. I don't care about you. <laughs> but he actually put on some good matches. But I that's just me, my guys. That, that, that's just me. That's just me. So let's go on to the Reno report, people. The Reno report. Oh yeah, back to Sater F. Um, like I said before, I don't know if I said this, cause I don't know how many takes I took just to record this shit, but I said that like Kano, if he is not, you know, booked for a couple months in the summer, then he might do a tag league with with CR Fire Pro. So yeah, yeah. So let's go on with the Reno report, people. The latest one. And the latest one was about NAW New Year's Retribution. Like, he reviewed New Year's Retribution. So, but the main thing that that, that took away is that J.K. won the championship. Sean Stevenson got his revenge. And yeah. But I will cover the Reno report because I love it. It's fucking awesome. It's always awesome. Tether Rental Report and all that stuff. So, yeah. Let me see if I get the Rental Report up. I'm not going to edit this out because I fucking hate editing right now. I don't hate it. It's just it's just too much for me, my guys. It's like, god damn. So, from what I found out, Renner Report talked about some of his guys and all that stuff. So, like, there's, like, there's nothing, like, the Renner Report right now, nothing new. Just, just some old stuff, people. But other than, but other than that, it's not that bad. So, if you want to go look at the Renner Report, I'll send the link below. And y'all could go look at the Renner Report, you know, just get caught up with what's going on. But if they you know, talk about some rumors and news about their show, I will definitely cover it on this show. Okay? Okay. Cool beans. So, some zero wrestling stuff, people. Here are some news that I got so far regarding anything with zero wrestling. Coliseum is coming back this month. That's one thing. Coliseum is coming back for Coliseum 2. And that's going to be their, um, you know, because Coliseum does monthly shows. So, but, but we got to, you know, build up who's going to fight for what title and that stuff. But Coliseum 2 is coming up real soon. Next thing next, big fella. Next thing next. <clears throat> that felt, that's good tea, big fella. That's good tea. NA, NAW, NAW is um new ambitious wrestling. We, we we from what I heard, they don't got no clue what the hell their next event gonna be. So that's something special. They don't know what the hell the next event gonna be. They don't know. Who is fighting for what title? So this week might this month might be chaotic. So <laughs> yes, this month's gonna be chaotic as hell. So we don't know what the hell is gonna happen. 
Cause, cause the the bookers don't have no clue what's the book. The boss was like, Mal was like, what the fuck am I gonna do right now? And the wrestlers, you know, they give their like they give their ideas here and there, you know, like saying, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna do this. So so they're taking all their ideas into consideration and they might make something special. That's that's in backstage though. No, that's backstage. So What's the next one? Um, Superstars. Superstars. Um, Golden Genesis is coming up this month. And, and, and the AOW show, Navigation show is coming up. Navigation to what? I don't know. The, the next big event. But yeah. But um, I think I need to tell you guys something about some of this stuff. Like, a- AOW has Navigation. Navigation is basically like the road to shows. So they basically want to like you know, road to this, road to that. It it won't be weekly, it would just be like bi weekly probably until the next big event. That's just to hype up some of the matches, get start up fuse and all that stuff. So yeah, that's something. So, damn! I just look. At, I lo- I looked up. I looked up at the TV, and then and then I saw like somebody want to go to a, to a gentleman's club. That's funny as hell. And he's married too. So that's that's fucking funny. What else I got talked about? Well, I don't know what to talk about. People pretty much got everything covered. Under an hour, which is like 22 minutes. So, if y'all guys like this episode, if y'all guys like t- talking to me about some news on stuff about the this wonderful world of professional wrestling in this in this multiverse, then give it a like and subscribe. Like subscribe to this channel. You know, we got some other podcasts. You know, POV podcasts talking about. Whatever the whatever the hell he wants to talk about, and then you got me, and also you got some more wrestling shows. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk to you guys about this big news. There will be a tournament, a death match tournament, okay, a death match hardcore ultra violent tournament coming up in the spring. Maybe in March, maybe in April. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even damn know. But this tournament, it might come out. It might come out in the spring. I don't know the, the exact date or exact season. But this tournament is like this. It's a, it's a it's a crazy hardcore tournament, eight wrestler tournament, with bonus matches in between the rounds, and basically it's just gonna be fun. The winner of the tournament not only gets bragging rights, but they get a chance to fight for any belt they want. In in, in a Zero brand, or maybe in a whole nother promotion that's not part of Zero brand, but but we get permission to use their championships. So, like, for example, if Daniel Leslie wins the tournament, then if he wants the WCC championship, he could just ask. Because I would say, yeah, he won the tournament, and yeah, that's that's what happened. Same goes with anybody else. If they want the end of the, if, if if it's like a a hardcore wrestler that wants one of one of the one of the zero brand championships, such as the um NAW championship or something like that, then he gets the opportunity. He won a tournament and he and he and he is the survivor. Yeah. He's so when the when the joint, you get the survivor. Anyways, I hate this commercial. Anyways, guys, what else? What's there? What's there? Any talk about? I think I know one more thing, which is there might be another tournament coming up soon. I don't know what tournament's gonna be. Probably a a league. The short league and all that stuff. And um what else? 
Rumor says that there might be a football league coming on coming on this damn channel. I'm like, what the? F-? I'm like, we are resting channel, my guy. <laughs> but oh well. But one thing I do know is that there's gonna be something a lot more stuff happening in the summer and spring. From tournaments to shows and big events. One thing I would like to say is that like we're gonna do a Pride show coming up in the Pride month. Pride two and it's gonna feature title matches and other stuff. Maybe. And yeah. It's gonna be like a annual thing. Because some of the wrestlers, you know, they wanna represent their their the status. They want to represent who they are. So why not give them a, a opportunity to showcase who they are in a big stage? But yeah, that's just me. So, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Follow these buffoons on the screen and 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 and, 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 and in the description below. I can't. I keep stuttering. God damn it! <laughs> but follow these buffoons in the in the link below. They're some cool people. Love them to death. And get the CR5 Pro shoes. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I took 30 minutes out of your day that, that you can't get back because you want to listen to my stupid ass. I'm sorry for that, but thank you guys for, you know, being there for me. All right, guys. Ciao.